What's up guys, Quarter Order here. Out today at this beautiful old farmhouse that goes back to about 1840 or so. You might remember it because we were here last week and we found so much stuff, the homeowners were gracious enough to let us come back out again. And they're even gonna join us for some detecting themselves. We're gonna continue where we left off last time and hit some new parts of the field. I'm hoping it's gonna be an amazing day. Of course, it's me, Rich Van Winkle, Charlie the Harry Drillic Hunter, the homeowners themselves, we've got Frank, and we've got Tarina, and as a special guest, way down here, we've got Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fine Doug with his special boot on. He can't detect, but he's gonna cheerlead for us all day long. Yeah. So let's get rolling, back in the first dig, see you guys soon. Later. All right, the yeah. first find of the day at the return to this house was found by Charlie. Tarina and Frank are hunting. She hasn't found anything yet, but my, I just know she's gonna get on something, Charlie. And of course, Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Spectator Doug, is just gonna Big kinda point. watch, and he's rooting us on. I, I went over to check on Doug, I found, I found something. Doug, Doug almost checkpoint. parked right on top of the, he does that a lot. <laughs> he parks his car right on top of where the large sense are. Charlie gave the silver signal. Let's see what he's soft, got. So, very soft soil, and this and this flew out. And oh, actually, I see it I way think, over there. I think there's two, maybe two of them there. Oh, you got a spill? Ooh, you son of a see. gun. You got two silver rosies, Charlie. Yeah, Char they, they flew out. Might even be more in there. I don't know. They, so they flew out. This was the hot corner. If you saw oh, all no, the no, stuff we no. found just in this corner right. when we were here last time. Yes. I'm sorry, I lied. This is a Merc. Okay. Right. There you go. You got a Merc and a Rosie. And then you guys had seen both of these because we found Mercs and Rosies last time we yeah. were here. Yeah. We're going to give them a spray down and we'll come back. Charlie, hold these. And I'm going to check. There might be. I don't know. There might be. Oh, there very well could be. We'll and we'll spray it down. Do you know what this is called, Tarina? Water. Quarter. <laughs> You're close. <laughs> Quarter hoarder water. <laughs> Say that 10 times. All right, let's clean these up and we'll come okay. back and get All the right. dates. All right, Charlie sprayed the two coins down. This one is the Rosie. 1948 no mint mark charlie no mint mark and tarina was spraying and checking out the merc what year is on that mercury dime tarina 1942. 40, oh so someone probably lost these both around the same time frame and the mercury dime one of the prettiest coins would you agree yes yeah well, awesome job no more no mint mark on either one no mint mark all right. all right very nice you know what they call this frank on the back that that little uh don't don't fall for that <laughs> <laughs> it's called a fasces Yep. It's a bundle. What do you know? It's a bundle of sticks. All right, good job, Charlie. Right, you so we checked much. the hole. You said you might have another one, so hopefully yeah, you got check it. it out. But for Probably now, I got to go see Rich. He said he found something. What a good start. All right, we're by this intersection on the corner. That house right there used to be the toll house back in the late 17 or late 1800s. So this property was right on the same corner, and Rich has something here. I don't know if it's going to go back to the toll house. His find he called me over for is actually in this hole. It took me a few minutes to get here and he's got another signal. So <laughs> well, look down that way in there and you'll like what you see. Oh, is that a button? It is. Oh, that's a nice one, Rich. That's yeah. another Tomback with a shank. Is it Tomback? Yeah, I can see oh. that. I can see the spun I, up I part. I thought it was copper. Oh, the yeah. one you had last week was also dirty. But remember, it cleaned up really nice. I'll give it a little spray on the back. Well, you found one when we were here last time, the exact same size. Exact same time. And this is colonial. So I just said, I doubt what he found is going to go back to the toll house. And I lied. It, it does. <laughs> so Rich's second large quarter size Tomback button. And he's got something right next to it. Who knows what that's going to be? But that's one heck of a start there, Rich. It is a iron yeah. ring. Not nearly as impressive as the Tomback button, but that's all right. Hey, good start. I'm going to fire up my machine, hopefully join in the party. All right, Tarina's first find ever. She's swinging the simplex. She had a 35 signal. I kind of sat next to her as she dug it up and she got herself a pewter spoon handle, most likely a spoon. But this goes back really old. They stopped using pewter cutlery in about 1820 or so because it's got lead in it. So it's at least 200 years old. Probably that, that would predate the whole house too. So I know it doesn't look like much in, you know, like this, but it's really, really old and that's a really cool find. And your first find ever. Yeah. 
Now let's see if we can get you on some coins and some other cool buttons, but that's a heck of a start. Congratulations, well done. All right, we're working down the side of these bushes. And I always say, try to shove your coil in the places where it can't get to. And that's what I did underneath of these overhanging bushes. I had a 36 signal, which is not a great tone, but I'm kind of just chasing everything. And I got this, Tarina. Uh, it's a pewter spoon bowl. Cool. Very well could have gone to your pewter spoon handle. Yeah. And a lot of times right here where the handle connects, they'll be fancy. And there is. Yeah. You see like the little shell pattern? Yep. They would have soldered the handle on. They made them in two pieces. But this has lead in it. The people that ate off of this very well could have died after 10, 15 years of shoving lead in their mouth. <laughs> so, so very cool though. I just love colonial things and the two oldest things of the day so far were found by me and you. Wonder Twin Powers, <laughs> activate. <laughs> All right, good find, awesome. Wonder Twins. All right, Rich gave the signal, possibly another silver coin. Let's see, Charlie's got up. Oh, yep, it looks like another silver dime. Yeah. Man, this is going to, well, we don't know yet. It's still covered in dirt. Hang on, Rick. Don't spray it yet. I just want to say, Doug, moving the chair around the yard, <laughs> trying to get us everything ready. Oops. I just see. took the rock. Oh, you ripped the whole thing apart. That's yep. okay. Yep. Yep. I, I see Rosie's head already. Yep. That's okay. We'll. Let's see. Another Roosevelt dime, but it's definitely a silver one. What's that about? Maybe 48. 48. <laughs> Is that like 12 silvers from this yard or 13 silvers? <laughs> Something like that. It's been a lot. Here you are. We didn't even get to where I'm hoping is going to be the real meat and potatoes of today. Back where you got that half cent. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep, we were slowly working with a nice patina on it, Rich. Awesome job. Was it a nice screamer? It was deep. No, it was. Oh, uh, it was quite quiet. A little chirpy one, yeah. I'm hoping to get uh, Tarina on a good coin. It's her first time out. You never know. She did get a nice pewter spoon handle. That's a good first find. Oh, I agree. Let's see if we can get her on a coin. But excellent job there, my friend. Thank you. All right, Charlie's got something. Tarina just carried Doug's chair over prima donna. <laughs> He'll be a great. He's a prima dugga. That's what he is. But Charlie got something. He said predates the house, so I'm pretty excited. I think it does anyway. Let's take a... Oh, I think I see it. Oh, my goodness. We were just talking about this. What's the first thing you found over with Charlotte. Oh, oh, a crotal belt? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks yeah. like. Oh, it's oh, it's it's, it's smashed though. It's a it's a oh, sleigh bell a too, is it? No, it's a crotal oh, bell. Oh, Look, a, the oh, pedal's yeah. on okay. it. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. That would go on your like animal eyes. back then. Nice oh yeah, like oh, yeah. well like that. Yep. Not really like Can that. Can you hang on a Christmas tree like we do ours? That's what I do with mine. I hang Even them on the a Christmas ones, tree. Me too. That's a shame. It's three quarters of the way, Charlie. But that's Look a nice yeah, uh, tomback yeah. one. Back, yep. This is probably uh, late 1700s. It looks like it'd be a number three, two. No, yeah. it's a little bigger than that. Yeah, it's a little four? bigger than that. I was yeah, thinking like four. a five or a six, maybe. Um, is there a number on there? It's got the pedals on there. Oh, there's a letter on there, B. I think the number would be on the broken side. Well, that's great, Charlie. It I'll might even be worth cleaning up, even though yeah. I'm sure it's not going to dingle again. Yeah, I don't see the uh, piece in here. But that's a nice sign of age back here. Like I said, I was hoping this back part would be good. We already know Rich found the half cent. Let's hope we can find more stuff from this error. I'll hand it around so you can see it, but that's a really cool find. Good job. All right, we're working into unknown territory here. And Rich, in between these two trees, gave the Indian signal. Let's take a look. Rich, you know I found a fatty, and I don't want to say anything to hurt Doug's feelings, but two flying eagles. <laughs> in this yard <laughs> let's see rich said he had an indian i don't know if it's gonna be a fat one or not i don't think it is but i didn't look too no nah, it's, th it's a thinny oh i think you're gonna be able to get a date off it though yeah it looks it's nice. got a nice color to it where i could tell from that dirt let me see if i can get my flashlight there's a little bit overcast back oh, wow, here that's a lot of detail yeah i can see it coming through i'm sure you'll get a date off that 1898. All right, that's respectable. Can you hold that for me? I might yes. need the light. I didn't brush the back, though. That's okay. The backs all look the same. The fronts <laughs> are different. Yeah, it's a nice shape. The ground was nice to it here. As long as we stay on the hill, I think we're going to get good condition. As we go down the hill, I'm afraid the creek might sometimes, you know, go over its banks and it could have, like, you know, watery dirt, which might cause corrosion and stuff. But this one is a beauty. We'll just have to stick to silvers down there. Yeah, we'll just stick to the silvers, gold coins, things like that. Yeah. We'll leave the copper coins.
<laughs> Great find, brother. All right, we are working back towards that hill that you see in front of you, which I think is going to be really good. The creek is down there. There was a lot of activity, maybe even Native American activity. We'll see. Charlie had a good find here. It's already out of the hole. On the legend, 43, 44 in the hole. Might have been similar. And he's got himself the butterfly pin. Now, Charlie, I just planted at my house. I forget what it's called. It was a plant that supposedly attracts monarch butterflies. Like they eat it. Like a milkweed, right? That's exactly what it is. Milkweed, a milkweed. Okay. Yep. Right. That's it. Now, I haven't seen a monarch butterfly yet. Is that what this is? It does not look like a monarch does not. to me. You're the butterfly. You were a science teacher. You know all about those butterflies, right? Teacher, Biology, yeah. yeah. Same thing. Did you ever dissect a butterfly? No. <laughs> I don't even know if it's possible. Well, that's a good find, Charlie. Maybe only from the you know, 1900s, obviously, but still pretty cool to find something that at least has a shape. It's much better than the aluminum scrap I got. Yeah, Great job. To it. Um, it looks yeah. good and it matches your eyes. I'll clean it up. Today's my anniversary. How about I clean it up? Oh, that's up? right. Today is Charlie's I'll wedding anniversary. And his wife was nice enough to let him come out detecting yeah. with the boys. We're so celebrating later tonight. I'm going to text her and All thank her. Charlie's wife is an angel, so thank you very much, Judy. Good find, Charlie. Thank you. I went back to the car to get a drink. I asked Rich if he found anything to leave the hole open, and I come back and I see two holes open. <laughs> so let's see if he's got one thing or two things. I don't know what this one is yet. Okay. This one gave me a mid-tone, high-tone, back, bouncing back and forth. Oh, what is I that? find it. First thing I see is the word sterling right there. And then the other side, he noticed it looks like it has a wheel on it, like it's a bus or a train or a. I see the wheel. And I think under sterling, it would have said forget me not. What do you think it was? Some like sort a little, charm. a little fob of some sort. A little bracelet charm, probably. Yeah. Now I see it. It either says sterling or sterile. <laughs> no, I'm guessing it, it looks like it would have been like a sterling, like a bus or something. Like yeah, yeah like you said. Yeah. Well, that's tiny too. It wasn't shallow. It was deep down no, there. Was... And then you're digging something next to it too. Uh, yeah, this is this the is front trash. of the bus. Oh, trash. But I did. Oh, this is another one. It's a salt spout. I got my, oh. my salt spout. Rich yeah. gets a salt spout we every week we go out. Uh, the only, he gets the most salt spouts of anyone you've ever seen. <laughs> Well, nice job on the sterling piece, and I guess on the salt spout. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to get back to my machine and try to join you in the fun. Charlie, I got a winner. You got a winner? This one was like a, it was a real scratchy deep, like 50, Doug. But it was so deep, I thought, oh, this could be junk. So I'm digging, digging. I'm way down. I get the last shovel. Oh. I flip it up. And when I flip yeah. it up, I see this enormous coin shoot out just where it's sitting now. And it was down, geez, Doug, maybe 10 inches deep. Well, it sounds like there might be another one. That might be a half cent. I that, think it's half cent. That's a rich hat, a half cent. <laughs> Is it a half cent? No. Oh, it's a modern quarter. <laughs> You're kidding. Jeez, that no. was so far down no, there. No, that's not a modern. Yes, yes it, it is. is. <laughs> oh, 1965, my. too. Oh, that's a... That's a slap in the face. You're not kidding, no. Uh, uh, if I put no, it back, will it get older? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. Off, but it'll get older. That was the deepest thing I've dug in like two months. Oh, well, I wow. pull that out. I, I say K KG. KG to the left, you know. Well, he says to me, he says, I got a real good deep signal here. Yeah, and that's he, deep. Flip. And I'm watching him oh flip God. it up. And he said, oh, there it is. That's what we pull out of the ground when you get a copper. That and, color, and they're green. And it feels that way. It everything. was way down there. Oh, oh man. Sick, yeah, well. sick to my stomach. It was, it was... <laughs> Uh, Rich came over while I was just digging a really deep 65 quarter <laughs> and he said he'd got the silver signal so I came over Doug's already set up in his bowling chair and yeah, yeah. he's got his uh, director's chair he's got his sunscreen on but Rich said he, this might have ooh. his name on it so ooh, Doug's, ooh and I don't even know what I'm it, looking at it looks like it says dick what, what is it since when did you change your name <laughs> it does. It, it says Dick? Yeah. Hand engraved. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got flowers on it. 
Frank, what was the old guy's name that lived here before Raymond. you bought the place? He was Raymond. How about before him? That I don't know because that was back in the 40s. Is it from the 30s? Yeah. Oh, it is hand etched in there. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's hand engraved. It says Dick. I can't quite <laughs> I think read so. it. I can't. It's dirty. We'll clean it up. Let's a clean bit this more. up and see exactly what it is. It looks like it would spin open, like, or maybe lift hey, open. Yeah, just oh, like that. Oh, it's another piece. Yeah, it's, it it's a piece open. of the, the thing I so, found before. That's why I was just going to ask you. Yeah. Does, does it look like it? Fits oh, that? so what he thought was a wheel was really a flower. You think it's a piece of yeah, that? Yeah, it's a flower. It's definitely a piece of that. Oh, so put that next to it then, Rich, like this one, so I can see. Oh, yeah, I see. see. So, so what you thought was that, or I thought was a fob, was just another link of this chain. Yeah. It looks like it was probably a, a bracelet. It looks like it. Yeah, yeah. like and a. It looks a, like there's probably going to be more if you can pinpoint. <laughs> that piece was over there. You say it says Dick. To me, it looks like it says Dinky, but I can't tell. Let's let's spray it down and clean it up. But well, maybe it's Dinky Dick. <laughs> Good. I'm not really sure. It definitely uh, says Dick. It does, all right, yeah. I'm not going to comment. This is enough. Enough. <laughs> enough of this nonsense. Let's clean up and see what he's got. Hang on. You better not edit that out. <laughs> All right, there's Rich's newest addition. So this piece, what we thought was some sort of a bus or something, turns out it was a flower petal, part of what would wind up being a bracelet. This piece does say Dick hand etched in it, which is pretty cool. And can you grab the little one? So I'm gonna flip the other two. If I flip it over, every piece of the bracelet says sterling on it the one on the right is actually mounted on the bracelet upside down so it says sterling upside down the one on the left is right side up and it does say forget me not but to me this means that the entire bracelet is probably somewhere in this area so we might try to see if we can excavate the rest of it but that's a heck of a find man i can't believe you got even more of it let's see if you can find the rest maybe get the guy's last name all right, Charlie is down closer to the creek. The creek kind of goes through there. And there were some old structures. There were some old dumps. Frank was saying there was an old cottage. Lots of activity down here. So Charlie was the first one down to investigate. And he started screaming. He must have something. Ooh. I usually don't do floodplains. Ooh. Yeah. So well, I don't know what this is, but it lo looks pretty to me. This looks like it's like a tarp, but this looks like it's a piece of silver. You might have something really interesting here. May I pick it up? Yes. As I reach for it. Oh, wow. Look at that, Charlie. These two pieces are beautiful. Could this be, I think it's going to be a sterling uh, brooch or pin. I could see right here where the pin would go across. And I think it is going to be a piece of sterling. <laughs> Rich found another link to that chain up there. That's crazy. But I want to see what this is, Charlie. You want to spray this down? Yeah, and I also have that, the brush that Rich gave me. Let's okay. clean up and we'll yeah, come okay. right back. All right. Wow. Well, there's the piece Charlie found. And this thing is stunning. I love all the scroll work on it. I don't even have a guess necessarily on the year, Charlie. It kind of looks Art Deco-y to me. So maybe 1920s or so, but I'm really not sure. The back, we sprayed it and sprayed it, and you could see at the top it is marked sterling in that flat band. It was a brooch where you can see where the pin went across from left to right. And Frank actually noticed at the bottom there's an extra hook down here. So it very well could have had a chain hanging from it with something else, you know, dangling. Who knows? Uh, but it's a really pretty piece, and I'm going to say it's at least 100 years old. So way to go down here in this dump area, and there is going to be some interesting things. They very well could have broke, and they just chucked it. So that's a great find, Charlie. Yeah, Congratulations, thank man. Thank you, man. That's a beauty. Almost Thanks. makes me want to come down here and join you. Maybe Thanks I will. Thanks for coming down. Check it Kid out. Kid me, I'd always come yeah. down for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, I was down filming that really cool brooch that Charlie found. Rich said he found another piece of that same bracelet, but it has another name on it. A different name that is crazy right i didn't spray it yet but is it a girl's name no it says bob dick and bob <laughs> yeah look oh yeah i see it he's right bob or rob or i can't read it if if rich says it's bob i gotta go with him doug I can't. it could be rob 
and they all say Sterling on the back. They all say Forget Me Not. And you know the whole thing's going to be here. It's just a matter of trying to look for it. Links attached on those uh, little. Oh yeah, well I saw it on the two that were together yeah, that had yeah. links. Well, that is <laughs> the so mystery good. is over. <laughs> I knew I could solve it. Wow, that it, maybe it says Barb because I Dick and Bob would letters. be a weird, <laughs> a weird bracelet back then. Well, that's a great find, man. I mean, I, I might come over and look for a piece myself. Maybe I'll find the Harry. Harry, yeah, yeah. Dick, and Bob. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that sounds good. It's bouncy, Doug, but I hear that high tone popping through. Are you getting any iron? And it's deep. No, no up. iron. Good. And it is deep, right? It's deep. I'm going to, we're going to try a live dig. What the heck? I, I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not. But since uh, Francis Cord Dougala is just sitting there, <laughs> I'll hand it to you and we'll see how we come up. All right. I've already had one disappointing clad quarter at great depth. Let's see if the ground's going to do it to me twice. Oh, look at that plug, Doug. You can oh. eat out of that. Oh. Sometimes your pinpointer. Try it. You have a battery in yours? Oh. There you go. Oh, it's, it's a not... link! It's a link! No it's a link to the chain! All right! I'm part of the chain <laughs> gang! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see how many kids she had. Can we turn that uh, I don't see any. beeper off? Oh, it's two links. Two. Oh, I got two! Maybe that's why you oh. were getting up. Oh! I don't see any names on those, but nope. it'll say Sterling on the back for sure. Yeah. Well, maybe that was one of the kids' names. <laughs> Look at that, Sterling dog. Archer. Oh man, we're gonna get this whole necklace by the end of the All day. All right, here, take take the uh, video, uh, the camera. Oh, they've seen it already, Rich. Yeah, you well, hold it. You get a better look at it. You holding it. Rich has at least four links already. Here's two more. They're all silver. The theory we have that I'm going to give credit to Frank, the property owner. Maybe it was a mother's bracelet, and these are her kids', kids names, names etched yeah. on it. Rather, like, you know, Rich's theory was two lovers, Dick and Bob. That's <laughs> <laughs> but let's see if we can find the rest. We'll see how many kids she had, but that's pretty cool. I'm glad to be on the board. Oh, man, what an incredible property this is. This might be the most target-heavy place we've hunted since the Field of a Thousand Holes. So many things were found, it's getting hard to remember them all. Day one was the sterling silver thimble with the fancy design down near the base. The silver barber half dollar from 1907 with a mint mark on the back. Rich's 3D Victorian face button with a patent date right on the face of it. I think three or four mercury dimes scattered all around all different dates. The silver Washington quarter found stuck right in the shovel plug. Giant ball buttons, complete Tom back buttons, fatty Indian, I think 1862. Of course, the two flying eagle scents, 1857 and 1858, Doug's biggest bucket list coin of all time. So when we return on day two, we had high hopes and this place did not let us down. Right off the bat, Charlie with the silver dime spill, mercury dime and a Roosevelt dime. Rich gets an Indian penny, I think it was 1898, in terrific shape. Charlie's number four crotal belt was damaged, but still an awesome piece. The enameled butterfly pin, that thing was super cool. And then that sterling Art Nouveau fancy brooch that Charlie plucked as we headed down near the creek. And then we went nuts looking for pieces of that sterling bracelet. Rich had four pieces with a kid's name etched in one. I found my own double piece with a kid's name in it. Every nook and cranny of the yard just has incredible finds. Next week will be the final part of this yard, and it keeps on going. Every single one of the homeowners, including their kids, who join us detecting each find something incredible. So tune in next week for the final part, and I'll even do a wrap-up and lay everything out as we found it so you can see it in one kitten caboodle. Man, what a yard that was. And of course, if you guys want to have a shot to find some incredible things in your area and you need some equipment, you can always shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Just let me know where you live and what your budget is and what kind of terrain you plan on swinging over. I'll help you pick out the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible things like we do every single week. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one.
Later.